Folks, today uh, I will explain you how to install the Docker on your Windows machine. So, first of all, the requirement is it should uh, for Windows machine it should be Windows 10, but to install it on Windows 8.1, which I have, let me show you. See, I have Windows 8.1 here, but to see the points whether you will be able to install it or not, so just right click here, go to task manager, go to performance, and see the virtualization. So if it's enabled, so this is the first check whether uh, um, it's a green signal for you to install or not. And the second one is go to the services and you see your Hyper-V. So if it is there installed on your machine, so um, you can install Docker on your Windows machine on 8.1 OS. So to install, just go um, and type this on Google. So this will redirect you to the first page. Go here, click on this. So you will see the downloadable like this. And it's of around 200 MB. So and one more thing. So um, if you go to the users, your username and here you will see dot docker folder after the installation. So as of now it is not there. So again I am remo removing all what I have previously. So I will now go for the installation. Always run installation with administrator privileges. So yes, yes keep all the things as it is git for windows if you want it's your choice don't select this After that, this will install the virtual box. Virtual box will enable the Linux machine on your Windows machine. Okay, so uh, it's installed now. Let's see. So you will also see these two um, shortcuts on the desktop install, you will see this and this and also this one. So now as I discussed that you will see the docker folder here, so you see it's not yet. So now let's go for the quick start terminal. So I am double clicking on this now. So initially this will download all the things so let it download and let it do the things which it is doing. Now you see the docker folder is there and inside you see the machines and as the installation is going on you see the, um, the docker machine the virtual machine all the boot tool docker and all these things will get installed here see now the download boot to docker.iso so you will see this installed at this location so don't interrupt let it in, let it get
so if I now go inside the machines and inside the defaults you will see the disk is there and boot to locker has been installed so you will see this disk is of my virtual machine and so whatever you will pull from the docker hub so you will see the gradually the size of this will increase so everything you pull from the docker hub will get installed on your machine local machine and eventually it will be on your virtual machine so you see docker has been installed on your machine and uh, this is the ip this will always uh, be installed on, on this ip so we we'll want now you want to cross check whether the docker has been installed on your machine or not so just put docker info so this will show you the your installed information regarding the docker okay and now uh, let's go back again for the services let's check whether the services are up and running or not hyper v services i mean Let's see I can see yes. So I have one more command prompt on which uh, you know, its uh, look and feel is very nice. So if I right click on this and you'll see the command on which the docker gets uh, open and this is this one. So what I did is I copied the same okay and now this is the cmder uh, command prompt so if i open this so you will see my docker is now again and the, the look and feel of this command prompt and the docker provide it's very uh, you know you'll see the difference when you are used to it so so if i do docker info, info here and if i do docker info here it's again you are not able to maximize the screen there are a lot of restrictions here so i suggest you should go for this command prompt now let's go for any docker pool to check So this means um, your docker is working on your windows machine and you see the size of this you see this, this will keep increasing as long as the downloading continues so you see the difference here. okay so that's all regarding the installation of docker on your windows machine thank you Please like this video, comment on this video, let me know what is your feedback on this video and please share, always help in sharing the knowledge. Thank you.